hey what's up what's going on it's your girl mary jane please subscribe to my youtube channel please like the video please share the video with everybody and if you have shared the video thank you so much and if you subscribe to me please thank you so much as well well let's get into it. we're gonna get into invite only cabo season one episode four secrets and lies secrets and lies so we're gonna begin off where we left off from the last episode where kamani hurts herself you know dirt bike riding four-wheeler riding or whatever and she's okay she's fine she's good she got a little cup scrape bruises and she has on a neck brace so anyways they, everyone is at the hospital with her then they come back to the house you know her and emily makes up her her and bianca makes up everybody it's all kumbaya it's all good so everything's all good between everybody whatever so but then you got Malaku, Malaku and Jermaine are talking about, you know, tomorrow is going to be Bianca's birthday or whatever. And them two are in the kitchen. And so, um, you know, Malaku is like, so what do you think Larry's going to do for Bianca's birthday? And Jermaine was like, I don't know. But, you know, um, Bianca has two taco trucks. She has bartenders. She has DJs. She has everything. She has a three-day event for Larry when it's when it's his birthday so he better do something and then Jermaine is in his his confessionals and he's like you know she wants something that jingles something that goes inside of an ignition of a car and starts it up that's what she wants basically and I'm like oh how cute is that <laughs> and so um Larry Malaku and Jermaine Ma uh, Malaku I hope I'm saying it right um go they go out to go get you know Bianca birthday present basically and you know Larry is like yo you know what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you know Bianca this ring from the jewelry so I'm gonna go to the jewelry store because it's her birthstones or opal or whatever and so Malaku is just like yo um I don't think you should buy her that ring or anything because that's sending a mixed messages that's sending her the wrong message it's almost like in a promise ring it's almost like an engagement ring Jermaine is in the back seat he ain't saying nothing he's just like whatever so anyways they get out they get to the jewelry store the jeweler remembers Larry and has the ring all ready for him you know what I'm saying <laughs> has the ring ready for him or whatever and so, you know, I, I believe it was Jermaine was like, you know, this is what kind of signal are you going to be sending to Bianca, basically? And, um, and Malaku says, yeah, what kind of signal? Then Larry is like, you know, it has to do with our friendship, our relationship. You know, it's going to be showing her that it's understanding or some shit like that. Understanding and, you know... Um, t signify how special she is and we'll always be friends and I'll, I will always be in her life and all that other good stuff so that's what Larry says is going to signify when he gives you know Bianca the ring so anyways and it's also going to signify that they are bonded for the rest of their life together and you know they'll always be together always be friends no matter what and it almost seems like Larry saying all this kumbaya shit towards Bianca because he's going to be bringing her down a peg or two with some bullshit because he keeps saying oh we're going to be bonded together forever forever and all this other stuff throughout the episode so it's like he's almost getting Bianca ready to to do some foul play some foul you know things to her that's what it seems like or I could just be reading into it so anyways you get Bianca she's talking to her daughter her daughter's very beautiful and all that other good stuff and so anyways um Larry takes Bianca out for drinks or whatever, for a birthday drink. You know, he wants to spend some alone time with her. Larry also says back home, them two always spend a lot of time together. It's just always them two. So, okay, we'll see. We'll, it's sounding okay. And so, you know, and, and he's out there with her when he's out there with Bianca for her birthday, he's telling her that, you know, he loves her so much. She's so special to him and all this other stuff. And, you know, they make up. Everything's kumbaya. They on a good place now there's no more cattiness going on and no more um touching butts so nobody touching butts or whatever but when you know bianca got dressed to go to her birthday dinner a birthday drink with larry she looked drop dead gorgeous number one but her booty was so big so she might have not felt it if the guy glanced by her ass <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's what i saw when the camera focused on the badunka dunk but it was it fits her body as it's, it looks natural. It is natural. I believe it's natural. And so maybe she couldn't feel it. So anyways, so then, you know, um, Bianca 
and you know Larry get back to the house after the birthday drink to whatever they talking and he tries to take off her shirt or whatever she was like no I'm going to bed so the other guys are in the room um Malaku um Agu and Jermaine they're in the room and they're talking about you know um Malaku tells you know Agu that you know Larry brought her that ring and then Agu was like he told me that he wasn't gonna buy her that ring he really brought her that ring he said he wasn't gonna buy it or whatever and so Agu looks so confused he looks so hurt he looks so disappointed he just looks like the world just ended hearing this news about this ring it's like whoa and and Jermaine is just sitting there like this is shock and I just and like they're all depressed about this ring so it's like it got some real bullshit going on here that we don't know nothing about and these three dudes know about it <laughs> and Malaku's sitting there like you know I gotta be the bearer of bad news I just gotta say whatever and it's just like they all seem depressed they don't even seem like they're in Cabo anymore it's just like yo what's going on is it that serious so anyways Larry walks in cause they're in Larry's bedroom or whatever and you know and and also, but before um, Larry walks in, um, Jermaine goes, you know, she's been acting mad different lately or whatever. You know, I could see her attitude changing. And Malaku is just like, you know why? It's because she's getting mixed mixed signal, mixed messages or whatever. And um, it's like, wow. And then so Malaku says, you know, um, they got that will and, well, they, I'm going to say it, that will and grace thing. Basically, you know, Malaku is saying that they, had, they talked about their future. If any of them... Are, if either one of them is not married or don't have uh, or whatever in a relationship with anybody that, you know, they'll live happy ever after together in a nice house, whatever, all that good stuff. And then Agu, his his action, and Agu's like, his action doesn't match his words and all this other stuff. And Agu just really seems disappointed and he just seems really disturbed by it. And Jermaine just got this just depressed look on his face like, oh. This is horrifying. It's just like, yo, what is going on? So anyways, now, you know, Larry walks in. Then um, um, Maku says um, to to Larry, let's have a boys meeting, whatever. And so then, um, so they was like, you know, you, you send them Bianca, you know, mixed messages or whatever. And all this other stuff, basically, just confronting Larry about his relationship with Bianca and the messages that he's sending to her or whatever and um he's giving her the wrong impression the wrong idea about their relationship that they are more than just friends and so then that's when larry goes my relationship between me and bianca does not does not affect you or you or you or you it's none of your business your business or your business basically larry's basically putting his um foot down or whatever and Malaku is like, no, uh-uh, whatever. And so then Larry is like, you know, she does her thing and I do my thing. So what does that mean, Larry, that she does her thing with somebody else and you do your thing with somebody else? So do you have a relationship? Are you trying to start a relationship? Or are you really just friends? But why would you say she does her thing and I do, I do my thing? And you guys both know about it, which doesn't make any sense. It's not clear because if it's just a friendship, it wouldn't be like, oh, she does her thing and I do my thing. That wouldn't even be in an and the equation when you're messing with somebody it goes oh well you know i mess with him or whatever but he does his thing and i do my thing so it's like what kind of messages you're sending mixed messages to me the viewer god damn it larry and so anyways i'm like yo so anyways um and then they were like yo i think it was like i think it was agu or it could have been jermaine or it could have been um um the other guy basically Malaki or whatever Malaku whatever says that you know you was kissing all up on her you're, you're showing her PDA public affection you're all over her you know basically she thinks you're her man like why wouldn't she not think that you're her man you're bringing her to this romantic place in Cabo and you're spending all this time with her now you're gonna give her this ring or whatever and um you know you're, you're just bringing her down that road and basically it seems like these three guys are really coming to the defense of Bianca, letting him know that he's doing her wrong, like he needs to be honest and open with her and tell her what's good, what's going on, and stop playing with her head, stop playing with her mind, because there's something, there's something seeping out, and it's gonna, it's soon gonna blow, blow up, it's gonna tick, tick, boom, tick, tick, boom, so anyways, Jermaine says, step in our, 
Jermaine says, step in or step out. Either be with the girl or don't be with the girl. But don't be sending her these mixed messages. Don't be playing these games with her. So basically, they're saying that he's playing games with her and he's not really serious. Um, and they should know because they're his closest friends. You know what I mean? So it's just like, what you doing, Larry? What you doing, Larry? So anyways, um, then Larry is in his confessional and he goes, if I wanted to give that girl an engagement ring or a, um, I got here. I, if I wanted to give her an engagement ring or if I wanted to give her a, a, a wedding ring or whatever, a promise ring, it wouldn't be no goddamn opal. Come on, you know me better than that. It wouldn't be no opal ring. <laughs> That's true, true indeed, true indeed. <laughs> so anyways, um, Larry's like, how come you guys didn't ask me who I'm in love with or who really has my heart? Or is there anybody else? And so I go say, so who has your heart? Is there anybody else? And then Larry says, yes, there is. So Larry, you playing games. You ain't nothing but a mother sucker. You over here playing games with this girl heart. This girl don't already ask you to marry her and, and all this other stuff. And you guys are talking about having a relationship and all this other things. And you are, somebody else got your heart. So somebody else has his heart or whatever. And he won't, and he hasn't told Bianca that yet. So that's foul. You know, that's that's going to hurt. When it, when it hits the fan, it's really going to hurt her. So anyways, you know, Malaku is like, so, I, oh, I know who it is. And then um, Jermaine goes, I know who it is too as well. But they was like, you know, I'm going to beg you for the answer or whatever. And so um, uh, Malaku is just like, you know, is it the person from the East Coast? So they actually do know who this person is. So anyways, the conversation's over because they're not going to beg Larry for no information. So then boom. Um, Larry, I mean, so Larry goes to bed, Agu goes to bed, and so it's, um, Malaku and it's Jermaine, and they're talking, and they're like, you know, it's, uh, Malaku's like, it's Corey. Now, is Corey a guy or a girl? Is Corey, I don't know. So, and they was like, you know, Larry doesn't really know how to be in a relationship. As soon as someone gets close to Larry, the first thing he does is say he's going on tour to break up with them and all that other good stuff. So, anyways, they go out to, um... So then they have a birthday dinner or whatever. But before then, you got Emily. Emily's drunk again, and she's go going after Agu. She's trying to get in his bed. She's kissing out. She kissed on his cheek. She's throwing her butt, you know, on, on Agu. And she's asking Agu, let's go smoke a long cigarette and all this other stuff. So she's trying to get with Agu. She's telling Agu to come outside with her. Agu is like, nah, I can't because I'm really trying to get with Kamani. So Emily goes outside, but she falls asleep, and Agu goes to bed or whatever. And so... You know, um, the next day, you know, um, Larry, he makes a birthday cake and everybody goes to Bianca's bedroom and sing her happy birthday and all that good stuff. And so, you know, um, Larry says a speech. He goes to her, um, you, I, I have the most meaning, the most meaning for relationship with you, you know, Bianca, you are everything in this world. I couldn't be without you in this world. I love you. I don't know what I would do without you. You're sticking with, I'm sticking with you. You're sticking with me for the rest of my life. We're always going to be together. We're always going to be friends and all that other good stuff. So he's like giving her this birthday, you know, speech of nothing about, it's all about love and this and that or whatever. But there is one thing I can say about Larry's defense. He never said that he was in love with Bianca. He always said he loved her. They'll be together forever. They're friends and, and they're bonded and they're stuck together. But he never said he was in love with Bianca. That's one thing he's never said, that he was in love with her. So anyways, the next day they get ready, the same day they get ready for Bianca's birthday to go out to birthday dinner. Bianca, she's so happy because she was like, this is the first time Larry ever acknowledged my birthday or gave me something for my birthday or did something for my birthday. Wow and you throw three days events for this dude and this is the first time he did something for you for your birthday and gave you a gift that's foul so it almost kind of seems like larry is playing games when with bianca like she's only good when you know nobody's around or she's only good when this other person ain't around but he don't even acknowledge her birthday and their friends Wow. So anyways, they go to the birthday dinner. Everybody looks drop dead gorgeous. Everybody's dressed to death. Everybody looks good. I mean, these guys can dress. These women can dress. They look good. I don't know where they got the outfits from, but they was they, they was straight fly. So anyways, you know, at the birthday table, everybody's all like, and everybody doesn't want, you know, Larry to give Bianca the wedding ring. I mean, the, the birthstone ring, whatever, because it's going to stand for so much more for her. She's going to see a house wedding kids you know the garage or whatever 
And so then they're all sitting there chilling, whatever, at the dinner table. So they talk about kids. Larry says he wants kids. You know, Bianca says that, you know, her most memorable birthday was when she gave birth to her daughter and all that other good stuff and all this other stuff. And Larry said he does want kids. Bianca said that she does want kids, but she wants kids with somebody that she's going to spend the rest of her life with or whatever. So anyways, from there, it goes on from that. And then Larry gives her the ring. He says another emotional speech to Bianca. And so everyone is just like, yo, so when is Larry going to let you know Bianca in on this secret that we all know so and so you know it is what it is and then Bianca comes back to the table from getting the um ring from Larry and you know she was Bianca's like this is a fairy tale and she was like you know for sickness and health and Larry got this look on his face and everybody's looking like yeah you did this you did this Larry you got her whole so pie you letting her you making her feel like that you guys are going to be in a committed serious relationship to marriage and why Larry why would you give Bianca a ring when you were so upset when she was talking about marriage when you guys were at the pool and you was like we haven't even been dating but you're gonna give her a ring and then you're gonna put it on her wedding finger and who and I think Jermaine or Agu was like yo he put the ring on her on her wedding finger so I did in my last video I said you better put a ring on I guess he fucking heard me you know, so, uh, so anyways um it is what it is and then you know Larry says that He's not going to be around. He's got to go away for two days. He got an engagement or whatever. So it is what it is. People, everyone's questioning her about, you know, what does she think about the situation? And so then the next day they go out together and they're trying to get information to see where, you know, Bianca's head at everybody that's left because Larry's gone or whatever. And, you know, then Larry texts, you know, um, Jermaine and tells Jermaine that he's coming back tomorrow, but he's bringing a guest and telling them to turn up and then there was like a guest and then you know Bianca goes is he bringing a female he's bringing another woman and then everyone's like why do you think it's a woman why do you believe it's a woman like everyone is like almost insinuating that it might be a guy so you know what I mean and so um and then Bianca goes you know if it was a guy he would he would have said I'm bringing my homeboy bringing my boy or whatever you know so that's why Bianca believes that it's a female, but everybody else believes it, it possibly could be a male or whatever. So anyways, um, the next day starts and Jermaine puts on a prison outfit. What does this pr prison outfit stand for? Someone in prison with their sexual identity. Someone's going to be in prison once they find out that this person is dating that person. What does that gel outfit symbolize? Um, Jermaine, why did you put it on? So it almost kind of leading us to believe that there's going to be some type of, that could be a type of altercation where Bianca and the other person or somebody's living a lie, somebody's living in a dark secret, they're in prison to their lives or they're in prison with their imagination that they have a relationship with Larry. So we see next episode, Emily brings her boy, her boyfriend's going to be coming. Larry brings the guests that he's bringing. I, I don't know if it's Corey or not. I don't know if it's a male or a female. They insinuate that it sound like a female, but I couldn't really tell if it was a female or a male. So we'll see. Next episode's going to be turned up. And then Emily is going to get into it with Bianca. It's going to be off the chain. So please like and subscribe and share the video. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm out.